Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today we're going to be talking about page 13 in the reference table, your temperature and pressure conversion charts. Well, let's start out with the temperature chart to begin with because that's going to be one that's going to take a little bit more time to go over. This chart right here actually has three different scales. On the left side you have your Fahrenheit, in the middle you have your Celsius, and to the right you have your Kelvin. Now these three scales are going to be very important because you need to understand the increment in which they're going to increase or decrease by. Fahrenheit goes by twos, Celsius goes by ones, and so does Kelvin. Now Kelvin doesn't get used that often. That's more of your extreme scale, extreme hot for like the surface of the sun, or extreme cold like the temperature of space. So for the most part, you're going to see your Fahrenheit and Celsius used most often. So when you look at your Fahrenheit scale, you'll notice that your lines go up by twos, You'll notice that your Celsius scale goes up by ones, and so does your Kelvin scale also goes up by ones. You will also notice that you have some sp specific temperatures that are pointed out, such as your boiling point, your room temperature, and also your freezing point of water. Now, the best way to, to do your conversions, I would take a straight edge and put them right across the values that you're trying to convert so you get a nice, neat conversion from one temperature to the next. Well, the same thing can be said about your pressure chart as well. Now, this one is a little bit more simplistic because you only have two scales you need to go by, millibars on the left and inches of mercury on the right. Now, again, just like with your temperature, you need to understand the increment. Your millibars go up by one millibar, your inches of mercury go up by one one-hundredth of a value. So it's very, very important to understand the increments in which they're going to go up. So you see that your millibars, you see that your values go up by one millibar each line. And here over on the inches side, each line goes up by one one hundredth of a value. So very important to understand the differences in the two scales. Also with this, you want to make sure that your conversion is going to, you're going to use a nice straight edge to make sure you get a proper conversion. Now there is one pressure value that's given to you, and that's going to be one atmosphere, which is synonymous with uh, sea level pressure. So your sea level pressure is going to be the thing that's identified on your pressure chart. So that's it for now. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.